Hi there. Well, today I am going to be taking you on a tour of our stateroom on deck seven, room number 248. This is a junior suite. We have a king bed, which is two twin beds pushed together with a padding overlay. And you can see we've got a little seating area with a pull out couch, as well as a vanity television and plenty of storage. I'm gonna go through all of the storage in more detail with you here in a moment, but I just wanted to show you a quick overview of the entire room as you see it when you come in. We were very happy with the amount of space in this room. You also have a dividing curtain there in the middle, so if you have guests in the bed and sleeping on the couch, you can have a little bit more privacy but there was actually more space than we ever could have used and it worked out really well for just the two of us. So starting off with this long, tall storage cabinet here to the left of the vanity, inside there are about six shelves along with a safe, which came in really handy for keeping our documents, cash, and other valuables. And there's a top drawer with a hair dryer and some tissue and then two deeper drawers at the bottom. This is a good place to keep socks and undergarments and things like that. And then also to the left of the vanity mirror, you've got another narrow storage area with some shelves as well. And you'll actually see one of those on the other side of the mirror, there's a second one. They also have coffee and tea service in the room. And then I wanted to point out that your electrical outlets, you've got two 120 plugs and one 230 plug. I'm gonna get into that a little bit more at the end and show you an additional outlet that we found. Also, you've got another set of drawers, the same setup. You've got two shallow drawers here at the top and then four more deeper drawers toward the bottom. And then here is that narrow mirrored storage cabinet that I was telling you about earlier. And then you've got your TV, and below the TV is a mini fridge. I do want to point out it is very small and the shelves are only about six inches deep on that. You've got another little storage shelf there and then this leads out to your balcony. And here's just another view of the room from the balcony doorway just so you can get a better idea of it. There is a lot of floor space in this room, plenty of room to move around. We never felt cramped the entire week we were there. Heading outside to the balcony, you can see there is quite a bit of room out here, but I should point out that our balcony had a little bit more space because our junior suite was at the end of the row. So we had two chaise lounges along with two chairs and a table. And this is the view that we had of Port Canaveral. So if this is the port that you're leaving out of, you might see this outside of your balcony. And then as we swing around here, you'll see that there was an extra window, which we really liked because you could see outside from the bed. And then you've got your sliding glass door there that leads back into the junior suite. And here is a look at the room from this viewpoint. And now let's head over to the other side of the room where you've got your closet, then the door that heads to the hallway and the bathroom. Starting off in the closet, this was probably one of our favorite features of this room. The light switch is on the outside, and then you can see there's quite a bit of shelving, both top and at the end. They gave you a nice amount of hangers. We didn't need any more than what they provided to us. I would say this closet is approximately three feet wide by about seven feet long. We were able to store our suitcases in here along with all of our clothing. And on the right there, this is actually a pull down bar if you needed a second lower bar, but we could have had room for several more people. There was so much extra space in that closet. Hi there, that's me. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the bathroom and give you a look at that. So there was sort of, you know, limited amount of space in the bathroom, but I ended up doing my, the majority of my getting ready out of the vanity area, but I was very happy with the size of the bathroom. It was really nice to have a tub. So if you like to relax in a hot bath, that was really a nice thing to have at the end of the day. And there was enough storage, although I will point out that these wire shelves in the corner do kind of allow your items to slip through. So we put some tubes and things that we had upside down so it fit through there so they wouldn't fall off but that was sort of an ongoing issue and the area around the tub didn't have a lot of room it looks like there's a more of a ledge than there really is but not really any space to put things on the ledge except for very small items and then you've got a couple of drinking glasses on your vanity top there soap holder and a couple of storage areas down below the vanity as well as a cabinet there with your waste bin 
And then there is also a storage area to the right of the vanity, which has a small drawer. This was a place we kept dental floss and little things we didn't want to roll around the cabin. And then they also do provide you with some toiletries. We had shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, and a body wash. They were all very nice. We really liked those. I actually asked for an extra lotion because I liked it so much. And there is just sort of an overview of the bathroom. I'm gonna go back over the electrical outlet situation. So you do have the two 120 outlets as well as one 230. But there is also an additional outlet that we found underneath the left-hand side of our bed. This was another 120 outlet. A couple of people in our party had CPAP machines, so this is something that you might want to take into consideration if you need that. Check under your bed to see if you have that. Also, it would be great for a heating pad. The other thing I wanted to go talk to you about a little bit more is the plug situation on the vanity. Not all plugs will fit. This was my particular hair dryer plug. It would not get at an angle where I could get it to work in this plug. I also have a MacBook and this was my MacBook charger. We could not get this to work consistently either. There would be a little bit of current running through if we put it upside down like this, but not something that we could get to work on a regular basis. But we did bring along a power strip, actually two of them, but only one of them would work. So that was something I wanted to be sure to point out to you. The plug that would work was this Belkin, and I will link to this down below. It actually has a outlet prong uh, head that spins up and down. The other one that we had that was fixed would not fit into this outlet. So just be sure that you bring a power strip that will actually fit with those outlets. And that is an overview of the Junior Suite aboard Oasis of the Seas. We hope that you found this video helpful. I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.